I'm filming the second part right now. You know, it doesn't matter if it was any time, day or night. You know, if you were absolutely hit with a tornado or sucked up in one, you know, I would definitely try to save you in it, don't you? No guarantee I could, but I would definitely try. And then when we were all clear, I would take you to the hospital. Wait, did I hear Why'd you leave the front door open when they say not to during storms? No, I, I think a lot of times I thought I heard that we should have doors open front and back, I thought, so that it would go through, like what? A, a storm or something, you know? Was that so we'd hear the siren? Huh? Was that so we'd hear the siren? Well, yeah, that. but I, I thought somewhere I had read years ago that you should leave doors open. But I, I'm not sure now, it's been so long ago, honey. Yeah, I left it open to hear, hear the siren. That's good, because that that could save your life, because look what it did in Washington, Illinois. Did you know that's what saved a lot of people's lives? With those sirens? Yeah. If it absolutely was coming at the house, then I'd have to have you get the safety, though. You know? Mm -hmm. <coughs> From. Yep, that way if the V hits him, it, it won't hurt him. I bet you they will invent it one of these days. You know? Yeah, it'd be a hard plastic, like, suit-like, and pants, so if the V got thrown at him, it, it wouldn't hurt him. What was that now? How many years ago was it? Three. Huh? Three. In that closet? You mean that at a time I was here and this happened? Yeah. It was uh, June 22nd of 2015. Of 15? Yeah. Wow. Both got in the, a closet or hallway, honey. I probably would have had to get in the hallway. And I probably would have gotten uh, th that that closet where I keep the vacuum cleaner and stuff, you know. Oh, that's that's near the door, honey. Oh, it's not near an outside wall, though. Well, I think in your hallway or in your uh, uh, bedroom, because that wall goes to the neighbors, doesn't it?